Hello everyone, this is your Ganesar. Students, today we will discuss the new chapter from class 6th new textbook, chapter number 1 that is locating places on the earth. So, this chapter starts with a, a beautiful quotation given by Aryabhatta, belongs to 500 C. He stated that the globe of the earth stands in the space, the globe of the earth stands in the space and made up of water, earth, fire and air, made up of water, earth, fire and air and its shape is spherical and its shape is spherical. So, it is uh, surrounded by all creatures that the earth which is surrounded by all the creatures the terrestrial as well as aquatic. So, this is the great quotation given by Aryabhatta when 500 C. So, means this quotation says about the earth the shape its size and its location everything known by our ancient people. It is not a new concept to us. Let us directly move into the concept that is a locating places on the earth. So, in the chapter, in the chapter we mostly discuss about in this video we will cover mostly about what is meant by map what is map and uh, what is atlas, what uh, types of the maps, types of the map, types of maps and components of the maps, components of the map. So, in this video we will discuss about these four important concepts. Chalo, let us move on to the uh, topic uh, what is map. Before going to that title what is map, here we have a one imaginary map, just clearly observe this imaginary map based on this we can get the definition also about map. So, you can just observe the map here in the imaginary map you can see in the imaginary map we have different uh, symbols like railway track, railway station, trees, school, market, hospital, museum, bank, nagar panchayat, public garden etcetera different what we have different symbols we have and in this map also you can observe that you can see that the directions north, east, south, west we can see different directions also located in the particular map and also you can see that in this map it is a it look like a, a flat surface it is a flat surface. So, based on this based on uh, these uh, uh, based on this particular uh, rough diagram, based on this uh, imaginary map, we can define about map. So, based on this we can define the map as a map, map it is a drawing, drawing or representation. drawing or representation of a some area of a some area. So, map is a drawing or representation of it is a drawing or representation of a some area. Here some area means it may be small area, 
the small area it includes a city town or village or it may be big area that is like a either district or it is a either districts or it is a, a state or it's a large area the large area it may be like a country or enter the world so what we can define map in simple way map is a a drawing or representation or a sketch of a some area it may be a small area or a big area or a large area that large area ka small or big or large area drawing we called as map so basically map is a it is a looks a, a flat surface a drawing on the flat surface it may be chart or paper or wall poster etc so this map the collection of maps the collection of maps we called as atlas what is meant by atlas atlas is a collection of maps or book of maps so in the atlas we have many types of maps so it's called atlas is known as a a collection of map or a book of maps so it's a book of maps or collection of maps so what kind of collections must maps are different types let's move on to the types of the maps types of the map so maps are categorized into several kinds several kinds several types so basically maps are classified into generally broadly six categories but in the class 10th class 6th textbook it was mentioned as maps are classified into several kinds these are given in the textbook these are one is like a physical map second one is political map second one is political map and the third one is thematic map etc so in class 6 text confined to class 6 they are given three types of maps one is physical map second one is political map third one is thematic map so here physical maps the physical maps are nothing but these maps are locating or shows that the natural features natural features or physical features of the earth what are the physical features those are like uh, it may be mountains rivers plains coastal areas oceans and seas etc so the maps are indicate these are the things are indicates a different physical features or natural features it's called as a physical map and the second one is come to political map political map this political map which is indicates it shows about countries and their boundaries states its capitals 
districts etc so those maps are we called as uh, what do you call it is those maps are called as political maps for example political maps we can say that this is the example of a political sorry physical map example of physical map isme rivers are mentioned kiya this is another example of a political map this is the example of political maps international borders and states its capitals were mentioned here next uh, third kind of my map is called as thematic maps thematic maps so thematic map these are the maps are shows a particular theme particular theme like uh, it may be rivers it may be mountains it may be population it may be mineral resources etc so these maps are used to describe about a specific aspect a specific uh, theme a specific concept by using different colors and different uh, shapes by using different colors and different shapes that maps are called as a uh, thematic maps so like in the class 6 textbook it was mentioned uh, three types of maps those are like uh, one is called a uh, <clears throat> physical maps second one is called as a political map third one is called as thematic maps is it clear now comes to components of the maps components of the maps so the maps has three main components three components it has three components one is called distance second one is one is directions third one is symbols symbols right so these are the three components of the map so we'll continue